Hey guys, Carlos here with Bearable Traders, and here's my recap. So let's go over some of these trades here. So KHC on KHC, it uh it started selling off here, then coming right back up around this area. I was looking for a short to get in to go back towards the low of the day, but I want to wait for confirmation. Um, when this candle started pushing up above the, this moving average here and almost this one, I got in for a long thing. We might have be in for a squeeze here instead of a sell off. Um, but did not happen. It popped up a bit. Once it started selling off, I didn't really let it go to my uh, stop loss. I just didn't like the price action, so I got uh, took everything out here. And as you can see, it turned out to be a really nice short. It could have been a good uh, short position here. Uh, goes towards the low of the day, and it continues just to drop down even further, uh, all the way to 34.65, actually where the price action is at now. Then from there, I had a trade on uh, Unit. Unit was a really good trade. Uh, this stock, I had this stock on my watches because it was, uh, this is an all-time low here. So I like when stocks are at the all-time low, they tend to either have a really good bounce or if they sell off, they can really drop off as we were talking earlier in the pre-market show. Um, but then here, it started off really choppy. I kept my eye on it. And then uh, once it started pushing up, I said, you know, this could be good for a long here. It was breaking the high of the day. I got a really bad entry. I did mention that in my uh, in my um, announcement at the, in the one we were trading live for the chat room. Um, right here is where I wanted to get in. So I got in 10 cents after. And and it's funny because I did mention, you know, 10 cents can make a big difference. And it sure did. I'll show you why. Right? It might not seem like it a, a lot, but it does. This is 960. Here is 950. Here's where I wanted to get in right before the break of the high. Um, look what happens. It goes up. Uh, we take profit. Put a limit order at 985. It takes some out there. Uh, then it drops down. Look where it gets to. Right to my entry. See the difference between 10 cents it might not seem like a lot, but if my entry was here, I would have survived this pullback. And I was telling my target uh, in the chat room, I was telling them it was a previous day close. This is where I wanted to get to. So unfortunately, you guys know my rules. If it gets back to my break even point, I am taking the rest out. I'm not going to give back what I already put in my pocket here. So this could have, be, could, have be, could have been the one and done. Unfortunately, it did not work out that way uh, because, again, just this entry was not great. The entry was here. That's what I planned for. Um, and unfortunately, I got to feel pretty bad uh, in this in this trade. Uh, the next one I had was on Cron. Cron was a really small trade. Me, me, we were, me and Brian were looking at this for a possible reversal. Um, let's get it in here. Uh, where is it? Yep, here we go. So we're looking for a possible reversal here. Only took about 200 shares. Um, so I got in here. I wanted to get over towards the VWAP or even the previous day close. You know, so we're looking for a real change in direction here. You can see it better in the five minute chart. So it did started making its way up. I um, around this time I uh, I just put in a range order. So I had a range order to uh, stop get me out at a previous day close or below it, and also a range order to get me out below at 21.20. Uh, it did come down and unfortunately stopped me out. Um, so it took a small loss there, and then uh, eventually started making its way up. It still hasn't gone above VWAP though. I thought by now this squeeze would happen above VWAP and uh, and take off here uh, the great thing too also is that i almost had a stop at 21 uh 23 or 21 25 and uh william mentioned hey carl is a moving average at a, at a daily chart 21 23 so i put my stop uh below that as you can see here it's testing that level pretty well so that level definitely means something to to cron here um and it's consolidating now i'm not sure what it wants to do next so that's my day guys pretty flat for the day i want to make sure i get in a recap not much exciting happening here uh same thing yesterday yesterday uh we lost 215 on my end um on two trades again nothing exciting so i'll uh, try to do as much recaps as, as i can based on if there's anything that we can learn that's not you know um nothing too boring i don't want to bore you guys with recaps where there's not much happening but uh, if this is something you want to see going forward, let me know. Or if you prefer just to watch recaps when actually something really happens. Um, give me a buzz back. Comment down below. Make sure you like. Follow our channel as well. Have a great weekend. And I will see you guys in the pre-market show to, uh, on Monday. Take care.